Greetings, greetings everybody. This is Apostle Joy. Welcome to day number three of the 40 days of open gates and doors. Today we are going to engage Matthew chapter 16. I am going to read from verse number 15 to verse number 18. And our emphasis is on verse number 18. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. May God bless the reading of his word, because it is holy. So yesterday, we spoke about the gates of righteousness. As the psalmist was saying, open the gates for me, the gates of righteousness. And we took the word open and defined and explained it. One thing that was profound was that opening means to reveal. And today again, we want to have a revelation because there is something that a revelation does to you. Jesus took his disciples to Caesarea Philippi and he was asking them, who do the people say I am? And they responded and they told Jesus that some are calling you Elijah, some are calling you Jeremiah, some are calling you John the Baptist and others one of the prophets. And then he said, who do you say that I am? Now he was asking them personally and he wanted clarity from an individual for a revelation cannot be common until it is shared. A revelation cannot be co-owned except when it's shared. But before it is distributed, before it is preached, before it is shared, it has to come out of an individual's heart an individual's conviction, an individual's persuasion. You have to know within yourself that you know, that you know, that you know. And that personal persuasion, that personal conviction is what Jesus wanted to hear from his disciples because he understood that the conviction they have about me or the revelation that they have about me determines how far they will go. So as we are praying today, we want to ask God for revelation, to say, may the gates of revelation open for me. For once revelation gates open, there are benefits that comes with revelation gates. When Peter responded saying, you are the Christ, the son of the living God, Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father in heaven. This is a heavenly revelation that Peter caught, that Peter shared. And Jesus started by saying unto Peter, Blessed, blessed. When you have a revelation, you become blessed. Immediately after having your revelation gates opened, 
you are blessed. A man with a revelation is a man that is blessed. A man with a revelation of who God is to him, of who Christ is to him, of who he is to himself, that man, that man is blessed. So a revelation, when it opens up for you, when the gates of revelations are opened, when you tap into a life of a revelation, what happens is you immediately become blessed. He went on to say, I also say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Now, God speaking through Jesus is saying, now that you have a revelation of me, I am also going to tell you who you are in me. You are Peter. Peter means rock. The man was called Simon Peter. Simon means a reed, something that can be tossed and be, be pushed or collapsed by the wind. Reeds that are found in the sea, in the dam, in the water. But now we are seeing that Jesus is preferring to call him the rock. Rocks are also found in the middle of the sea. But no matter the waves of the sea, no matter how harsh, no matter how hard, no matter how strong the waves may be, a stone or a rock remains stable. It remains in the same place. It's fixed. It's, it's permanent. So Jesus is saying to Peter, you are Peter, not Simon. You are Peter. No matter the waves that will move, you are going to be stable. You are going to be, to be planted. You are going to be strong. And upon this rock, I am going to build my church. Now, what is interesting on this passage is a revelation you have concerning Christ helps you to get a revelation from him about yourself and who you are in him. For all of us, we are different and we belong to different platforms, standards and callings. And your calling can only be revealed to you when your revelation gates open up and you know who God is to you. When you have a revelation of who Christ is to you, then it means that you yourself, the revelation of who you are in Christ is brought up to you. So it means that you find your purpose. Most of the people are lost because they don't know who they are. They don't have identity. They don't have a purpose of life and hence they lose a drive in this life. So as we are going to pray today, we just want to say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to have a revelation that gives me a conviction that drives me to know my position in Christ, my purpose in this life and my significance in you. God bless you. God bless you. Enjoy your day.